So guys, today I have a prismatic video here for you, mainly going over which new or additional aspects I could see them adding to prismatic. Uh, obviously, with prismatic being a combination of our light and darkness subclasses, we can go on and speculate which additional aspects we think could be added. That's what this video here is going to be all about. Now, obviously, they could add additional supers and additional grenades in the form of brand new prismatic grenades or just general grenades. Uh, but I feel like aspects are going to be the main way that the subclasses themselves are changed. So that's what we're mainly covering here in today's video. But before we get into all those details, as always, if you do go on to enjoy the video or find it helpful in a way, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I would very much appreciate it because it's free to do and helps me out here an absolute ton. With all that being said, let's first jump into the Titan set of aspects here that I have chosen. First up, Soul Invictus. To me, this made the most amount of sense uh, out of all of the solar aspects that aren't already in Prismatic. Uh, this will allow you to be generating uh, sunspots, which are great in general, uh, just to be applying Scorch consistently, as well as giving you another way of survivability with uh, those sunspots granting you restoration whenever you enter them. For your Strand aspect, I went for Banner of War because it's a very loved Strand aspect and could work very easily into any Prismatic build. For the Void aspect, I went with Controlled Demolitionist as just a way uh, for you to be spreading around that Volatile effect. And once again, I feel like this could be woven into any uh, Prismatic build and could work out really great. For the Stasis aspect, I went with Howl of the Storm. This kind of works similarly to the Consecration aspect on Solar. But it's just a Stasis version, so while you're sliding, you can just generate some Stasis Crystals and freeze stuff. I feel like that could work out with some already realized uh, Prismatic builds. And then finally for the arc aspect here, I went with Juggernaut because it was the only other uh, arc aspect that I think could work well with the Prismatic subclass for Titan. Moving on then from Titan, we do also have Hunters here. Now first up, let's talk your solar aspect because this one was actually quite hard to choose because Gunpowder Gamble, the only actual a good solar aspect that you have that changes anything about your class is already available on Prismatic and your other two wouldn't really change anything or add anything to Prismatic uh, generally because on your mark just gives you increased reload speed and then the other solar aspect just increases the damage of your solar super which doesn't really work when you only have one available solar super. Now could they change that aspect to make it work with all of your supers? Yes but I don't really see them doing that so on your mark would be the only uh, reasonable solar aspects that I could see them adding. For the Void aspect, I chose Vanishing Step just to make you uh, gain that invisibility easily and I could see that pairing up really well with other aspects already found on Prismatic. Alongside that, for the Stasis aspect, I chose Shatter Dive uh, just so that you hunters will be able to shatter escape more and I feel like a lot of you seem to like doing that. For the Strand aspect, I chose Widow's Silk. This just grants you an additional grenade charge which I feel like would not go unwanted uh, for your Strand aspects. And it works really well with Prismatic itself. And then for your final arc aspect, I chose Tempest Strike. This one fits into Prismatic really well, similar to how Consecration does, as well as the, uh, forgetting it now, but the Warlock one, where it gives you an arc melee when you slide. Uh, this kind of just fits into that similar fantasy there, but for Hunters. And then finally, let's talk Warlocks. So I have a lot more to say about these because I actually main Warlocks. First up, we have Ice Flare Bolts. This is going to work really well with the already uh, established stasis abilities found on Prismatic, allowing you to spread that freeze effect uh, more consistently. For the solar aspect, I went with Icarus Dash because I'm just an absolute addict for this ability. It's the only reason why I still play Solar Warlock, just the movement feels really good, and I would just like to see it personally added to Prismatic. For the Strand aspect, I was stuck between both Weave Walk and the Wanderer because both of them could work really well with Prismatic. Weave Walk, you activate your air dodge to consume melee energy, but you gain bonus damage resistance and generate perched threatlings, which could work really really well with prismatic but then also wanderer allows your tangles to suspend enemies and allows threadlings to generate tangles uh, this also works really well with prismatic allowing you to just constantly be generating tangles threadlings and suspending stuff this will also allow you to just have the suspend ability without needing an exotic which i feel like would not be unwanted and then finally we have the arc and void aspects which i just went for arc soul and child of the old gods just so that we had those elemental buddies available to us without the need of exotics in case of the arc soul and then child of the old gods just isn't available on the prismatic subclass in general and is quite a good uh, buddy option there especially when you use those void uh, subclass exotic gloves that allows you to pick them up and then move your child of the old gods to wherever you want it i feel like that could be a very fun uh, thing to take advantage of with prismatic that's why i chose it 
and yeah that's pretty much it for all of the aspects that i feel like could be added now obviously none of this is confirmed and it's just my speculation and it's just which ones i feel like in my head would work best with the prismatic subclasses but obviously i'm just one guy leave your thoughts in the comment section down below on which aspects you would like to see added to prismatic as well as just additional supers melee abilities grenades prismatic grenades anything really we'll hopefully know more closer to the launch of episode two about what's going to be added or if anything is going to be added at all uh, and yeah that's it for today's video hope that you guys enjoyed if you did remember leave a like and subscribe that's it for me here today so i'll catch you guys in the next one